you want to remove the headlight on an IS 300, what you're going to do is there's going to be some clips here. Remove the clips here, 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 and here. Okay. There will be a clip here. Okay. You can remove this clip up here. All right. Same thing on the other side. There's going to be a clip here. You can remove this clip here and make things easier. Pretty much you're going to take the front bumper off. And then you're going to go under the car. And there's going to be a bunch of 10 millimeters here. Okay. And here. And then mine doesn't have the lower engine shield. But if you have an engine shield under there, just take that off. And then you're going to pull the bumper off. Um, before that, I'm sorry, go ahead and peel the fender liner back and there's going to be a 10 millimeter in the corner, one in each corner. And then you should be able to just pop the bumper loose and you're going to need to unplug the lights, this turn signal, and the fog light. There'll be a screw here, okay, and it's a Phillips, but all you need is a 10 millimeter in the Phillips and then you should just be able to pop the bumper loose. Okay, just get it out of your way. Get it out of your way. Tell me to be 10 millimeter here. Okay, and then uh, you remove this guy and make the headlight a lot easier to remove. But I'm gonna look up in here, and there's gonna be a 10 millimeter nut here, and there's another one that's right back here. Get rid of those. Okay, a deep socket, quarter inch. And then you can work the headlight out. Alright, I'm gonna need two hands for that. So let's stop the video. So, one, two, three, four, five. Mine has HIDs, so it's five plugs. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button if you made it this far. Later.